Hello everyone. I am back again with a new uh, video. Today I am going to show you how you can uh, view uh, or use CloudTrail to view the API calls or actually monitor the API calls. Okay, so in short, CloudTrail is a monitoring tool to track all the API calls that has been made on your account. So by default, CloudTrail is turned on and you can actually turn it off it tracks and keeps the data for last seven days so for example if i create an instance there is an api call if i create a bucket there is an api call if i uh, get the files or search for files in a bucket there is an api call so uh, all those activities that we are doing are actually an api call and all those api calls are tracked in cloud shell couple of things are not tracked by CloudTrail. For example, if you log into your uh, web server via SSH or like RDP, then it is not tracked by the CloudTrail. These, uh, these are the service that's uh, being part of outside the CloudTrail. So, okay. So, this morning I created a, a tutorial on uh, setting up a bucket and created a cloud font and upload some files over there. So, let's see. Uh, what I have did. I am going to go to the cloud trail, but you can go here by typing zero with cloud trail. Okay, so uh, I am here in the cloud trail section, and this is the new layout. Um, so far, what you can see is by clicking on this menu icon and then go to event history. This is the default uh, CloudTrail event history and you can search everything within the last 7 days. I will now do some search over there and let's just do by uh, checking what has been done with S3. So uh, I need to go to here, resource type or event source, actually event source is better. So, even source, if I click here, then I will see all possible options. Then I can just type with S3. Then it will give me the event source S3 Amazon.com. When I click here, then I see there's a lot of things I have done list bucket, list bucket, get pub, bucket public, get public encryption. So, all, all of those things I have done with my root account because that was a test tag to log in. So uh, here I can see all those things. If I make it big bigger, then I can see the time as well. This is the time, actual time. So uh, I just wanted to see how can I get the bucket creation. So I go to the next page. Uh, let's see. No, there is not there. Then let's. Here it is, create bucket. So this is the event, and this happened on 1426 UTC 6, and even source is s3amazon.com. Resource type Amazon S3 bucket, and then the resource name is sample. Uh, let's expand this. Yeah, sample website hosting. That's right. So that's that's my event that I have done here. Okay, if I want it to be specific that I want to see only the e bucket creation, then I can do that by uh, going to event name, then uh, type for create bucket. Then uh, I can see that I have created the bucket that's easily distinguishable, and this is done on UTC 6 plus. That's the time I have done that. Okay, that's on bucket creation. I created also a cloud front, so let's search for that as well. It's create, and then uh, distribution, create distribution. Okay. So here it's a create distribution, and it is also uh, today 1434. That means after just 
10 minutes later I created the cloud so these are the two examples I have done I can uh, go further but I think you got the point that how you can track how you can use cloud trail to track the API calls so for example I wanted to know if there is someone that has deleted any bucket I can just go to my event name and then create that uh, delete bucket and then uh, I see there has been no event because someone has deleted but if someone has deleted then I can easily see that this user has deleted the bucket so I can just easily track that similarly I can see who has terminated the EC2 instances so let me check See if I can see uh, the event and terminate. Um, terminate. Is it to terminate instances? I think this is the event. Yeah, I did that actually. Actually, I created an instance and then, then I terminated, and here it is. So you see, I I, I found actually myself doing this kind. Okay, so it is like a uh, detective, Sherlock Holmes, who can find things, who has done your account, and then easily you can identify that person or that IAM user. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope it helps you to uh, secure your uh, AWS environment and also you can track and um, uh, check the changes and also who made the changes and then you can identify the person. You can also get notified if someone deletes the bucket or someone tries to terminate the instance by SMS. So you can just create an SMS uh, topic and link that to the event that will trigger you an email or SMS in your phone. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, I hope you will like my video and if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. That will be encouraging for me to create new videos. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.